Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Uh, hi, this is my very first uh, vlog from uh, Pakistan. Hats off to you, uh, all the Pakistani vloggers. <laughs> uh, seriously and honestly, this is quite a job. This is not an easy thing because things are quite different here and time management is a huge issue. Um, and there are many other factors. You guys already know. I just don't want to mention those. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, you guys know that we weren't feeling well uh, in the beginning i was sick my husband and then we were finally happy that at least our kids are safe but no you guys they got sick as well but alhamdulillah alhamdulillah we're coping up with the environment and with everything is available here so we are almost settled <laughs> for now uh, so yeah so um, I just went out and this is the very first time of I uh, I went out so the weather is not quite okay because of the smog uh, which is another environmental factor here so yeah people get sick quite easy um, so everybody is waiting for the rain to come so this is Lahore you guys already know about it I don't have to tell you guys and those they don't uh, because you know I do have some international friends so for you guys you can definitely google um, what Lahore is in the world you it's uh, one google search away and definitely you're gonna get all the information so um, this city is a uh, rich and dense of the history and culture um, it's a hub of a Lollywood, uh, which I think now moved to Karachi. This is a um, uh, country's second largest city, wealthiest city. It has so many industries um, and also uh, has so many monuments um, like Minari Pakistan, Bajrahi Mosque, Lahore Fort, um, Wagga Water. What else? Mm like so many uh, monuments and so many historical places to visit uh, you can name them and you will have them like on google definitely and of course the food um, so yeah uh, we went uh, we were just passing by to the side so i thought to stop by this uh, care for or care for i don't know how you pronounce it you know we do have it in slovakia so they closed out from there so i thought um we're gonna get the same quality uh things over there the usually we get in slovakia but no you guys if you think of going there i do not recommend because they have everything locally manufactured um so that was a big disappointment um we didn't feel like going there like all the way from where we live it's quite far uh but we were on that side so i was like okay let's go there and uh, let's have a grocery um so no doubt uh, it was organized uh it was hygienic i would say it was clean um they are following like international standards but what they were selling there is nothing imported every single thing is locally manufactured i'm not saying that the locally manufactured stuff is bad but when you are used to some certain food some certain ingredients uh you will definitely look for that and, and you don't don't find it uh, that's a big disappointment so if i don't know why if if they switch you know these kind of brands internationally they probably should provide the same standard uh you know everywhere in the world so yeah that's a big no-no from my side and i wouldn't uh, you know visit that again uh but this is my husband's favorite section the snacks uh nimco's snacks and some dry fruits and all that stuff it was mixed all together so every time when we come to pakistan <laughs> you just buy a lot of you know these um, uh, things just to snack on and we usually take it with us to slovakia as well so yeah it was quite nice and that's the only thing i liked <laughs> because i'm munching on it <laughs> since then and uh, i was like you, know, you probably should find that somewhere here or you should go back and pick up more and then he passed by this section and he grabbed more <laughs> he grabbed more he just couldn't stop uh, you know picking up the stuff so yeah uh, the 
uh, food like you know, i would say uh, meat was uh, okay um it was uh, clean uh, there were no flies it was hygienic organized that's the only thing i liked uh, if you can see i don't like uh, the the meat you know on the open area where there are so many flies on it and all that stuff and it smells so bad so this was clean nice hygienic i like this one uh, but i didn't like the packed things the things they were in packets the the packaging it, it was locally manufactured i didn't like that um but it's not like it's bad it's it was good i'm i'm using that all these ingredients since then it's okay but as i mentioned when you are used to with certain standards you just cannot compromise uh but uh, so many of you guys suggested al fateh so probably gonna visit that And then I stopped by this stall while going out. Uh, they were selling some traditional stuff. I'm not a fan of jewelry. I don't wear much, but it, it looked so cute. I don't know. It looks so traditional, so pretty. I just couldn't stop capturing it and sharing it with you guys. But of course, I asked that guy if I can film it because uh, things are different here. <laughs> they will be like, delete it. Uh, are you filming it, ma'am? Delete it. <laughs> so I was like, it's better to ask. Um, so then uh, this is my breakfast that I usually go with uh, my nice cream bowl. Um, I, I'm having that and I thought to share it with you guys as well. Uh, it's a banana, frozen mango, frozen um, strawberries. My mother-in-law actually stored uh, some banana for us. She, she froze like, I don't know, maybe 10 kg of them. That's really nice of her. And I just had a smoothie bowl. So that's it. It was really nice. And for the dinner, uh, we are having like uh, this chicken tikka. Like, I don't know, maybe every other day because we miss chicken tikka <laughs> so much uh, back there. I, I do make it over there, but I do it like in the oven. So it doesn't get that smoky flavor that comes from the coal, that it's slow cooked on the charcoal. Uh, so it doesn't get that in the oven. So yeah, so my mother-in-law, she is, or my sister-in-law, she's making like the every other day. Uh, so I was like, what, what should I I show you guys like every day we are eating tikka <laughs> chicken tikka and the, the same basic stuff like uh, biryani and korma and you know that and i was like okay you guys already know the recipes you know how to make it so what's the point for me to showing you the same thing that you already are having at your home uh, but since it's a vlog so you know you must share what you do on on the daily basis thanks so um, faris and his daddy they were waiting for the food and i was filming it and i was like let me just take a little a quick <laughs> clip to share with you guys so this is the next day we went to visit um, a society some uh, many of you guys recommended uh, well most of them they recommended Beria of course we considered that so um, some of them they recommended uh, park view as well and it was good from the beginning if you can see the entrance was okay um, it was developed uh, but the, um, my husband spoke to the real estate agent and he told us like the society was started back in 2000 so imagine it took 
uh, 20 years to this society to uh, get developed like only this part um, the first few blocks and then from there on they was they just expanded or what I don't know it was just open land there wasn't even a green belt or nothing like that so uh, of course the developed area they didn't have anything to, uh, to sell you guys um but uh, the open landed area there that was uh, the open for you go and <laughs> build your house somewhere you know in the fields so i didn't like that much um we just roamed around like you know like this um on the main road and i was like okay let's just go back home uh, i didn't like the commercial area as you can see um it doesn't look like it's a society it looks like a local market somewhere um yeah i don't like that <laughs> i didn't like that And um, my brother told me that he's gonna show up to uh, the next day and I was like okay he likes a yeah, trifle so I just quickly made for him I laid it up with the fruit cake and uh, some other um, fresh fruits and laid it with custard and uh, garnish it with um, hazelnut chocolate mango banana and some nuts he really really loved it um, and this is the next morning when he showed up I posted a picture on my insta IG and my whatsapp and he really likes this kind of desi nashta <laughs> so he had halwa puri and naan chane and all that stuff and i went with the sog my mother sent sog from selkot that's really really sweet of her because she knows how much i love sog uh this is the this green thingy uh if you can see this is a combo of uh, a special herb that's been grown in india pakistan i don't know about the other regions and for the dinner we had uh, chicken shami kebab, some seek kebab, some mutton korma, some biryani, naan and raita and all that stuff. Usually the basic menu that we quickly go with. Um, and again, um, I just went for a kebab and had some salad and of course they enjoyed the rest of the meal. And my husband, oh my, it's just really, really hard to stop him eating all that stuff, but he does. Um, anyhow, if you liked this video so far, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Do leave a comment below. Get in touch with me on my Instagram page. If you have any questions, feel free to write me in the comment below. I would love to share any kind of recipe if you want. Um, and yeah, just take very good care of yourself and the people around you. I'll I'll see you in the next one.